She's amazing. I, I know I'm getting to teach by the best. She makes everyone happy. I knew she would get it. I, I wasn't surprised. She's, she's the best. I feel like it's, it's, in, it's part of me. Um, when I was a kid, I would play school with my siblings. Like I would, I think I was like in first or second grade and I would be like, okay, Diner and Jim, my brother and sister, are coming. Here's the board, and it was like our window. And I would take a marker and write on the window, and I would pretend that's the whiteboard or like the chalkboard at the time. <laughs> but so I would, and then I would read books to them, and I would like the teacher holds it a certain way, and I would do the same thing. And so I, as a kid, I always like wanted to be a teacher, and I feel like it's my calling. It's what I'm supposed to do in life because I'm really happy. Like this is truly where I feel I'm best. I'm best. I have a, a sincere passion for math. Um, it was my junior, senior year of college and I took a math class and they, um, I solved this problem and I, I answered it and somebody's like, wow, that's really good. You should become a math teacher. And like that, that was my like, oh, I should become a math teacher. It means a lot when I say she's amazing because she's my first period teacher. I don't like getting up to go to first period. She lets us go for the warm up and that actually lets me wake up a little bit more. She, um, she lets us like actually learn with each other. And I don't really know how to articulate what it is that I do with kids. I think the biggest thing is just letting them know that I love them and that I'm here for them and that I'll, I'll always support them. Um, so it's not necessarily like a I do this with math or I do that. I think it's more of just me being there for them and the kids know. They can read you so quickly and they know if you're here they'll they'll work for you. I have some kids who have straight Fs but you know a good grade in my class because they know that I'm here and I'm going to support them. She's one of the first like one of the first teachers that ever contacted like my mom. I know some people don't like that, but with her help I was doing like super good. I went from low grade high grade and then now I have a. Um, I've had people say I, sh I, I would be a great administrator and I'm not interested at all. Like I love being around kids. I love being with kids. I love having an impact with the kids. So I, my future is in the classroom with my kids. My favorite part in the classroom in general is the aha moments for my kids. Um, when they really get something, you can see it in their eyes and you can see it in their face. Um, I, my favorite part in the classroom is seeing um, the kids find confidence in themselves and enjoy math um, and enjoy something that they didn't enjoy before. My favorite part in the classroom is make, having kids have fun, you know. Um, I do try to like stop a lot of time. I used to be an avid teacher, or I still am, but um, I used to teach avid and I would always find those teachable moments because it's not all about math. It's about life lessons and it's about being a good citizen, being a good person. Oh, what I like most about her is like how she is, like she's always happy, except when she's like, when she gets mad, but she's still nice with everyone. I'm excited to represent um, my school, especially. Um, Lincoln is an amazing school with amazing teachers and amazing kids, and I want to be able to be that positive face that we have on our campus and now a positive face that I can share with the world. And um, So I, I'm ecstatic for being this, the district teacher of the year, but I'm even more happy, more excited to be able to represent Lincoln.